brutally honest rankings of every 2018 Grammy performance. The Grammy Awards are music's biggest night of the year. But which Grammy performers deserve to be there? Certainly names like Kendrick Lamar, Patti LuPone, Cardi B and Rihanna, who served up some of the most thrilling performances of Sunday night's broadcast, with Kesha, Lady Gaga and Maren Morris delivering moments of emotional catharsis. However, just because some legendary artists were booked for the Grammys didn't mean that they delivered memorable performances. From Kendrick's elaborate stagings to U2's Bust on a Barge, we ranked every performance at the awards. Kendrick Lamar with U2 and Dave Chappelle. 30 slash DNA slash new freezer slash King's Dead. How they did, top rate. Here's why, it was quite a show opener, an army of hooded soldiers marched in front of an American flag, with Lamar slouched in the middle, crouching to the ground. When you 2 s Bono and The Edge emerged. Text flashing across the backdrop billed the performance as a satire, and Chappelle showed up between songs to deliver winking commentary like Is This OK? With CBS. That was more an amusing distraction than a meaningful component. More impactful was Lamar's evocative staging, as he danced around a figure in white pounding a drum, before the stage was flooded with a mass of dancers in red hoodies, who dropped to gunshot noises one by one. This wasn't quite as head-spinning as his legendary 2016 set. But still was compelling enough to make Lamar's album of the year lost to Bruno Mars sting that much more. Ben Platt and Patti Lupone, somewhere slash don't cry for me Argentina. How they did, Broadway, baby. Here's why. The Grammys briefly turned into the Tonys, and it was maybe the best segment of the show, which says something about the evening that dubs itself music's biggest night. Standing on her eve of her own podium, dressed like the immortal first lady of Broadway that she is, Lupone was an absolute force of nature during her Andrew Lloyd Webber tribute. Crushing Evita's Don't Cry For Me in a performance that made us thankful they didn't hand it off to any number of random pop stars. <laughs> Meanwhile, Dear Evan Hansen star Ben Platt must have heard that Steven Spielberg is casting a new West Side Story remake, and donned his best vintage sweater for his take on the musical somewhere. Backed by a cello and acoustic guitar, he may have taken a few too many liberties with the iconic song, but bless his heart, he sure tried his best. SZA, Broken Clocks. How she did, hope for the future. Here's why, need a reminder that SZA got robbed when she lost Best New Artist to A. Lessa Cara? We got one with her showstopper performance of Broken Clocks, not even her best song from debut album Control proving it's possible to deliver nuanced vocals on the Grammy stage, a feat that more seasoned artists failed at earlier in the night. There's a reason, despite her deeply unfair shutout at the awards Sunday night, 
why she was this year's most nominated female artist. Rihanna, DJ Hullard and Bryson Tiller, wild thoughts how they did, wild, wild, wild. Here's why, save us, Rihanna, from this saltine dry awards show. Hullard kicked off his performance of Wild Thoughts with a spoken word intro of Hullardisms, and as much as he tried to distract us throughout the song with his yelled out asides, there was no overshadowing Rihanna's slinky pink dress and her dancers delivering old Hollywood bathing costume glamour as they stunted en masse. Tiller reminded us that he's on this song, blazing through his verse before we started dancing again, and we all forgot he existed. And to the Grammys cameraman who kept cutting to Holland during her wildly entertaining final routine, that might be a firing offence.